gets a little sinister. Oh, yeah. All right, so there is a woman out there who has since made her account private on Twitter that has been on top of every Carlos Beltran announcement. She broke the story saying she's his niece that Beltran was getting the job with the Mets a week before he did. She broke the story yesterday that he was leaving the Mets. Yesterday, before anybody else did. That he was stepping down. He was which stepping in down, he did. which in effect he yeah. did. Now, today, before she made her account private, she essentially said, I love my uncle. She put a heart emoji in the word Tio, which is uncle in Spanish. And I'm sick and tired. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. There's a lot of things going on with the Astros. For instance, Altuve and Bregman, the two, two of the biggest stars in the game, Peter, mm -hmm. are wearing buzzers on their right shoulder to tell them what pitch is coming. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm told to stay quiet, but I refuse. Sorry, T.O. Hart. Jose Altuve and Bregman wore devices that buzzed on inside right shoulder from hallway video guy. Let's get it all out now. Then she writes, I have pictures from Locker I will keep for rainy day. Altuve didn't want shirt torn off, if I remember. Maybe I misspoke, but Chapman gave up home run in the game. Now, this is what we've been surmising or supposing all week. Now, there is a picture that is out there of Altuve rounding third. And if you're watching us on Yes, you'll see. And there is a, a little bit of a, um, a bulge from his shirt under the right shoulder. Mm -hmm. There's another picture that's out there that shows him rounding third base another time, and his uniform is open at the top two buttons, and you can see a small piece of tape right in that area, mm -hmm. and it's not holding any jewelry or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is going on? Now, the Beltron, the Beltrons through our very own Marley Rivera of ESPN, they have said that this is not at all anybody related to them. So whomever it is, they've been on top of everything when it involves Beltron. Now, Gary Sheffield Jr., boy, the, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Okay. The son of Gary Sheffield, he writes, what's wrong with you people? This is obviously a burner account of an Astros player. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. You think it's a burner account? Yes. I do not believe. Who is this niece? What kind of niece has this much information? It's one thing for the quote-unquote niece to say, my uncle got the job. It's another thing. Don, all this information, locker room photos. To get it all right. It. It's, not, it's not the niece. It's not a niece. Now, again, everybody is now contributing. Like, there's a picture of Josh Reddick oh, right yeah. now where it looks like there's tape on his left side of his chest near his shoulder. Now, it could also be confetti because it's kind of the same color of the confetti that came down at um, Minute Maid Park. But this is the extent we're going through. This is Major League Baseball is going to have no choice now but to investigate the 2019 Astros, and now it's going to be about the players. I mean, if you put electronics on you... To me, that's a lifetime ban. You can't, but you also... Uh, see, they're going to run into the same problem because the Players Association is obviously going to fight any discipline. But you know what? Shame on the Players Association because another player is being victimized. Well, but that's always been the case when we've talked about the Players Association. They protect the players, but what about the players that you also represent that were hurt by this? But it didn't happen during PEDs, right? Everybody shut up. Even though they also represented the guys that weren't on PEDs. And, so and yes, they have the picture of Josh Reddick. Right. Now, that could be confetti. I don't think there was confetti. Well, I don't think there was confetti. I, I was there. I don't believe there was confetti. I don't, I, I, maybe I'm not remembering right. Now, they're, they're, I'm, they're, they're show, I'm seeing pictures on Twitter of confetti coming down. Okay. I stand corrected. But, but I, I don't know. That picture could have been because they, they went on the road in 2017, right? But is this 2017, the picture, or 2019? No, that's 2019, the picture. Well, I'm saying, I don't, they're, they're showing pictures of confetti coming down. Well, I mean, they, anybody... did, they did, well, when they beat the Yankees in 2017, it was at yeah, home. Yeah, right. So and I, then they I, beat the right. Yankees this year, it was at home. But listen, not every picture is going to necessarily tell the story. Some things could be made up, some things could be doctored, but there seems to be enough evidence there, Michael, with Altuve alone, that baseball should investigate it. The problem they'll run into is the Players Association. But what I'm saying is the first time around from 2017, 
you might have been able to get away with the an anonymity. You might have been able to get with, there's too many players involved. Some of the guys were involved, but they didn't want to be involved. They didn't pay attention to the trash cans. It was a distraction. If you put an apparatus on your body that electronically tells you the pitch, you cannot say, well, it's a distraction. I really didn't want to do it. No, you have to be singled out. You have to be Guys, disciplined. You have to be banned. We, we don't, the level, the way this story's been changing, and... We could get to a point where we think the story we're talking about is, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen with the Mets and Carlos Beltran? The way this story is going, I'm not saying it's going to go here. We have no idea the depth. We can get to a point where we're talking about is Jose Altuve going to be suspended for life from baseball. We have no idea where this is going. I was texted by a, a prominent former player okay. okay, who said, we all have no idea what Manfred knows, and he's trying to protect the sport maybe. But, yeah, but because no this, this, is, this, was, this would be destructive. What has happened now, it's, it's a bird poop on a windshield. This would be destructive. Oh, yeah, this could be yeah. real bad. And, then, and also then if Because this is one of the biggest stars in the game. He, what if he gets overprotective, though? If he gets overprotective and makes the wrong mistake, he could be out. Manfred could do it to himself. Well, yeah, absolutely, because he's got to be very conscious of this isn't the 70s, okay? Or even when Kennesaw Mountain Landis had to make the decision about the Black Sox, the White Sox scandal. People have information. Players are talking now. Players are tweeting. He's not going to be able to keep this under the rug. It, it's too big. He, People he needs... have the technology to look at the video. You can't just, we investigated and found nothing, and then you're going to have players screaming, oh, I was on that team. No, you, what he has to do is, he, you, what you hope is, this is an Astros problem. The really terrifying part, I guess, for baseball would be if somehow this was more than an Astros problem. But if this is an Astros problem, then don't you, if you're, if you're the commissioner, don't you say, well, we might have to sacrifice the Astros for Major League Baseball. They may have to look really, really bad and be villainized in order to protect the integrity of the well, other teams in the rest of the game. You can't have a conspiracy theory. There are Yankees going on record feeling like they got robbed in 2017. Yeah. There'll be Yankees that are going to be on record from 2019 saying, wait a minute, we're in a tie game. Altuve cheated at a home run. That, that could have been my title. We could have been played in the World Series. We should have been playing the Nationals. Are they going to be able to shout those players down? So how can you sit there and have an investigation? Ah, oh, we, we investigated it. It's, it's a bunch of nonsense. What a lucky break for Major League Baseball that the Nationals somehow came back and won the World Series. Mm. It would look even worse if the Astros had won. Now, John Boy, who has put together the videos that showed Farquhar looking into the dugout and also the banging that would indicate exactly what was going on and really was on the forefront of forcing Major League Baseball to do this investigation as well as, of course, the athletic story, he just tweet, he tweeted out, and he's going to join us at 5.30 in studio, uh, John Boy is, Beltron's niece tweeting about the buzzers, which matches up with what I've been told from about five different parties. Now, I also told you earlier in the week, I was coming onto the field to do the Yes Post Game show, and people in baseball were wondering why Altuve was so, so stressing, don't rip my shirt off. Now, that's not proof of anything. You see, the, the yes is showing. He's saying, do not rip my shirt off. And also, you brought up something really smart the other day, Don. Now, he is very bright, Peter. You, you're right. Don, I know, underrated smart. Chapman's smirk with so many Yankees. I, I had no problem with it whatsoever. I mean, because you're probably nauseous when you give up that home run. Maybe it was just about, they knew what pitch was coming. You got me. They got me. We thought we figured it out, but they're too good. And that's that kind of smirk. And then there's and then there was another, a, a Bregman. Uh, I didn't, there's a Bregman press conference too. There are these moments, man. And and what, which which one, which audio was it that we were listening to yesterday? Was it Hinch? That was Hinch when he when he randomly brings up devices. Right. Oh, it was Cora. Sorry, it was Alex Cora. When Cora randomly brings up jokingly about talking about how lucky the Yankees are to have Beltron, and he's like kind of winking and laughing, it's, it's insane. Now, there's two things at play, though. The more you think about this, either there was only a select few that were in on it with the Astros, with the electronics, or they're just colossally stupid. If you know he's wearing a wire, why would they have to be told not to rip his jersey off? Great point.
That's a gr- Don, you did it again. But maybe, maybe <laughs> just a couple of them have it on. No, but no, but to Don's point, only a couple of them have it on. But there, does that mean that if no one knows, let's suppose the whole operation was, because uh, was, was, that was from this year, right? So the Beltron's not even a part of it. Let's suppose the whole thing is Hinch knows about it, um, he knows about it, uh, Altuve knows about it, Reddick knows about it, um, Bregman knows about it. Well, then it makes sense that he's telling everybody else, don't rip my shirt. Right. Because they don't know that he's wearing a device. Right. But if they all knew, why does he have to tell them all, you know, we're not the Mets who don't cheat. You can't go ripping my shirt off. It should go without saying. Unless they're just stupid. Unless it's just a select few that it's want it. It's a select few. And this also... think about how, how, how much of an athlete you have to be to feel a buzz. It's all within, like, almost less than a second. And to know how to adjust and have that information go to your brain, back to your hands, I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Well, that, that's a weird part, is that you're cheating, yet it's an impressive way of cheating. Yes. You're right. You have I to mean, really... The, that's the quick. synapses have to fire at a level that we can't even appreciate. No, that, you're right. It's, it's an athletic now, way of cheating, for sure. Now, they can't be that colossally stupid, so I would think there was only a handful of guys that were in on it, which then makes you think, maybe it was only a player-driven thing in 2017, that there was on, there's only a select few that knew. Because that's the bet. The best conspiracies are having it at the least amount of people involved, right? The plausible deniability yeah, yeah, factor sure. of it. And also, you're you're making a decision here. How could the whole team agree to this? You're telling me an entire roster would be willing to say, "I'm willing to wis- risk all my credibility. I'm willing to risk the Hall of Fame. I'm willing to risk everything." That's a lot to put on the line. So maybe you're right. Maybe it really was just a few players.